writers, it's Bonnie here, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about writer life for my Vlogmas Day 8. And so um, I did hear a tag or uh, a new outlook on things, and I saw that on page Nomads Live this morning, and um, a very catchy uh, hashtag writer tube. So I am going to tag this author tube and writer tube. I just wanted to give credit to Paige Nomad. That is where I first heard the term writer tube. And so today for Vlogmas Day 8, I have 16 questions for writer life. Number one, relationship to writing. So uh, what's your relationship to writing? My relationship to writing has been um, a place where I can control the chaos. Um, there, it's always been an escape to me, a place to decompress from all the good, the bad, and also a place to imagine, plot, plan, and decide the all outcomes. Uh, so to sum it up, pretty much it would be, uh, I love writing because I can control what goes on. <laughs> and I can't do that always in real life, so uh, that's one of the reasons I have a relationship to writing. Number two, supply. What are your writing must-haves? I would say paper and pens, journals and notebooks, and a quiet place. Um, I know a lot of people would say computers, but I have had a love of writing long before computers were a basic household item. So, uh, number three, rest. Taking breaks and returning back to projects. Uh, how do you find that? And uh, it can be challenging. It can be challenging for me, depending how long of a break I take and uh, my interest in the project. It is a lot easier to go to a project that you really love. Uh, more That can tell you a lot about a project if you leave it and in, in, uh, want to come back or not, in my opinion. So, Number four, refreshment. What are your top three favorite snacks? I would say espresso and coffee, if you know me. If you watch me, if you see me, you know that I love my coffee and espresso. Also, Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. You can tell I love them. I got a whole dispenser on my desk. And also the Ritz Crisp and Thins, the sour cream uh, onion and chive ones. Those are so yummy and light and crispy. So those are three of my favorite snacks while I'm writing. Healing. Uh, what comforts you or fills your well? Um, for me, it's long walks. I like to binge movies. Um, I listen to music playlists, and sometimes I just take a break to read a book that may not be in my normal genre or something outside my normal perspective. So that's those are things that comfort me and uh, fill my well. Number six, guidance. Mentors, motivators, or favorite writerly tool apps. So I think um, Mark Ford or Michael Masterson. Uh, when I was studying copywriting, I really fell in love with him. He, he's definitely a god to me, and uh, uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting him, so that, that is wonderful. And uh, he really inspired me. He, he has a great piece called The Power of One, and that was very impactful for me uh, the day I listened to it and the day every day after. So that is my uh, big inspirer. And uh, what else did I have on and also, uh, when I was copywriting, I really fell in love with the dream of uh, really convinced me that I could write for a living and for my life was Mindy McHorse with the Barefoot Writer. She has a really great newsletter. Um, she's involved with the AWAI pro program and uh, uh, that has taught me a lot of things in writing uh, even before I moved on to want to publish a book. Number seven, purpose. Why you write? I write because I'd feel lost if I didn't. I, it's my outlet. It's it's my joy. It's my love. It's my heart. It's it's everything. So uh, it's my rock. Keeps me secure and steady. So number eight, testing. What is some things that have made you want to quit but you did not? So this is tough because there are a few things depending on uh, what's going around us. I would think the lack of family support or understanding uh, the need to write has been uh, the most difficult, but 
I still keep going, so I don't care. And uh, that has been the most difficult for me, most testing. Uh, number nine, protection. What makes you feel safe or secure or relaxed? I think uh, in my writing process, the fact that I can back everything up and have multiple copies of things, that makes me feel secure when I have multiple copies of my projects and works in different places. So that, that makes me feel good and protected. So faithfulness, what keeps you committed? Um, I think what's keeping me committed is uh, feeling like I have a purpose and uh, a drive to finish a project, to see something all the way through and not uh, ha just have multiple manuscripts. So uh, I think that's my drive to be published, to be a published author uh, on a novel. That would be great. Um, discipline, what keeps you on track? Um, consistency keeps me on track and uh, discipline is hard. Discipline is hard when you uh, do it for a passion, not just to make, and, and you're not trying to just make money, which is good. Everybody needs to live. Everybody needs to function and feel purpose and worthwhile. But I think it's hard to stay on track if you don't have any sense of urgency. Um, you have to create the urgency within yourself, or at least I have to create the urgency within myself because I don't have a high pressure to achieve except from myself. So um, I think uh, dis discipline is something I need to work on maybe a little bit there. So number 12, hope, goals for the upcoming year, 2021. That would be to complete a book completely to be published and online for sale. So that, that would make me very happy. That would be my goal for 2021. Number 13, abundance, oversupply. What do I have an oversupply of? I would say I have an oversupply of pens and notebooks because they're every, they're everywhere. They're here, they're here, they're under the desk, they're on the shelf. Pens, I have pens here. I have an entire drawer of pens downstairs. I would have to say overabundance of pens and notebooks. Number 14, blessing. If you could bless one, bless another writer with a vice, what would it be? Um, it would be to never give up. Your dreams are possible. And I'm not sure who this quote is by, but what gets measured gets accomplished. And so that goes right with the discipline for me. Um, if I could give other writers advice is if you have a passion for writing, write. And uh, you will need to work on disciplining yourself to complete things. And I am in that process now. So, um, number 15, this is the last question. Eternity. What are your top three long-term goals? My top three long-time goals uh, in my writing life would be to publish a series, not just one book, but publish a series. Um, Two would be to be a travel writer full time, and I know that won't could not possibly happen for me for at least about twelve years uh, to be full time doing that. And number three, write until I die, write until eternity. So I hope you enjoyed these questions, and this is hashtag writer life tag. It will be on Instagram also if you'd like to do this tag yourself. And uh, also, I wanted to catch up with you a little bit on Vlogmas. Today is day eight. So I uh, am not playing with that now, but I am trying to get better. I have been trying to figure out editing software, which is a struggle for me because I'm not super good with the technical stuff. It takes me a little longer to learn that. And I homeschool my kids today. We did that. And I'm still working on my Duolingo. I haven't met my writing goal for today because I got a little busy this morning and decided to get a little more sleep than getting up and sleeping in. And so I am feeling that pressure. Uh, it's like my pens are looking over my shoulder to tell me to get to work. And uh, so I'm going to work on that this evening, which is very nice about writing. Uh, you can do it whenever it fits your schedule. You know, if you're morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you have the time, 
can be the right time for you depending on uh, what you want out of it. So um, happy Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed my video and the hashtag writer life tag. So feel free to answer your 15 questions about writer life. See you tomorrow. Bye.